take it, Chuck, and scores! Nice Shabbat curl and drives and scores! And the Senators win it. Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon, and I'm your host. Now, before we get started, please follow us on Twitter at Sense Talk underscore and on Instagram at Sense Talk. As well, go to SeatGeek.com and use the promo code Sense Talk. You'll save twenty US dollars off your first purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, the hockey season is underway. Last night, the Senator rookies took on the Montreal Canadian rookies. They beat Montreal four to three. And then during that time, during that game at like five o'clock in the afternoon, the Ottawa Senators as well extended Senator Logan Brown to a one-year contract. It's safe to say if this is a make-or-break year for Logan Brown. Uh, if Logan Brown does not make the team out of camp, I would expect him to go on waivers and probably get picked up by another team. So this is really the last dance, the last dance for Logan Brown. So hopefully it works out for him. I am rooting for him. In today's video, let's talk about Brady Kachuk's next contract with the Ottawa Senators. We all know this whole contract negotiation, especially in the last month, has turned into some sort of soap opera, which I'm frankly tired of. It's it's way too dramatic for a contract negotiation. I just want this deal to get done already. It's really, it's really tiresome, especially after a great end to the season last year. And... Um, a lot of excitement going into the season. This is really dragging everything back. So the sooner this gets done, the better. I'm really just tired of it. But um, lots of drama. Lots of drama. And we're going to get into that uh, after. Because right now, we're going to talk about Brady Kachuk as a player, what he brings to the team. And then I'll discuss some contract quotes uh, from Elliot Freeman, Gord Miller, even Brady Kachuk's brother, Matthew Kachuk, which is really where a lot of the drama comes from. So before we get to that, let's talk about Brady Kachuk as the player. Now, last year, Brady Kachuk, in 56 games, played all games of the season. 56 games, he played in all of them for your Ottawa Sanders last year, scoring 17 goals, 19 assists, and 36 points in those 56 six games played. He also had 69 penalty minutes, which is very nice, as you know. Now, Ray Kachuk is one of the most unique players in the National Hockey League, especially last season. Last season, he ranked second in the National Hockey League in shots with 220, second in hits with 248, and was atop the league's leaderboards with penalties drawn, fighting majors, and expected goals per 60. Now, Ray Kachuk's career numbers are pretty good, too. In 198 games played, he has 60 goals, 65 assists for 125 points total. So, Ray Kachuk is a complete package. He can score on you, he can fight you and he can lead the team to victory. So what does this all mean in terms of Brady Kachuk's next contract? It's very simple. Brady Kachuk is the clear face of the franchise for your Ottawa Sanders. So while some may argue that eight plus million for eight years is way too much for a player like Brady Kachuk, I would disagree. This is a pivotal signing for the Ottawa Sanders and their future. Listen, signing Brady Kachuk long term would rejuvenate this fan base and more importantly create, would create much needed confidence in the team's management and the fan base itself. Brady Kachuk is the captain of the locker room, the face of the franchise, and the most beloved player by Sens fans just after Igor Sokolov. So on top of all that, Brady Kachuk also brings elements to the game like nobody else. He can change the game script without even scoring. Whether it's crashing the net, making a big hit, getting into it with another player, or just doing his Frank the Tank Sally, Brady Kachuk is a force to be reckoned with, regardless if he's on the score sheet or not. While I would understand that Brady Kachuk and his camp rather sign short-term so they can capitalize on a bigger payday down the road, if I'm the Autumn Sanders, if I'm Pierre Dorian, I'm doing everything in my power right now, right this instant, to overpay Brady Kachuk. Why? Well, it's very simple. If you do this and you pay him between 8 to 9, not 9, but like 8, between 8 and 8.5 million dollars, around that range, which is something I'd be very comfortable with, if you do that, this allows you to save money down the road. Listen, Ottawa is a, a small market team. We're a, a budgeted team, okay? Let's be honest about the situation here. We don't got money like the New York Yankees, like the Montreal Canadiens, like the Toronto Maple Leafs. We don't got money like the, the Patriots, all these big franchises. We're a small market team, and we need to understand that. So this is actually a good business move for Ottawa for two reasons. One, of course, you sign, long, you sign Breaking Chuck long term. Uh, this will rejuvenate the fan base. You're going to sell merchandise. You're going to sell tickets, season tickets, the whole shebang. But more importantly, you're going to save money down the road. Listen, you think contract negotiations are tough with Brady Kachuk right now? Try locking him up long term when he has even more games and experience under his belt. If I'm pure drawing on, I'm doing everything in my power this instant. Give him a little extra money if that's what it takes. Even if everyone in the league thinks it's an overpayment, because at the end of the day, you're saving money down the road. And I guarantee you, if you sign him to a three-year deal, and then in three years when he's even better than he is now, He's going to demand even more money. And will Ottawa pay it? We'll see. But I think if Ottawa can lock him up right now between 8 to $8.5 million, um, I think Ottawa would save a lot of money down the road. And I, hopefully that would be okay with Brady Kachuk too. Speaking of that, let's get to some contract talk quotes. 
now that I've given you a background on the player Brady Kachuk is, and more importantly, given you my take on what Ottawa should do in terms of the, his next contract, here are the reports coming out of the media uh, from this contract negotiation. And this is why it's really been a big soap opera. It's been a lot of drama, and literally in the span of less than a week. This has been all in one week. September 14th, Elliot Freeman reported that the Sens have offered something similar or exactly like the contract Tom Shabbat signed a couple years back, which was eight years, $8 million. And Bruce Garriott confirmed this report. The next day, Gord Miller went on TSN 690, and he said, I think Brady Kachuk will get done in Ottawa here pretty quickly. From my understanding, they're getting close to getting something done there. And he also added he thinks uh, it will be a long-term deal with Ottawa. So, hey, September 14th, Elliot Freeman says Ottawa offered eight to eight times eight to Brady Kachuk. The next day, Gord Miller says they're close to a long-term deal. So, obviously, those are two trusted sources. Sense fans are fired up, including myself. I was fired up. I thought this deal was going to happen literally a couple days ago. I thought Ottawa was this close to signing Brady Kachuk long-term. And then Brady Kachuk's brother, Matthew Kachuk, goes on to a Sportsnet podcast, and he dampers the party Sense fans were having on Twitter and around the world. Uh, here's what he had to say in, um, in a recent interview. Matthew Kachuk said this, he might be pulling a classic of Chuck right now. Our dad held out, I held out, and Brady looks like he's on his way right now to holding out too. So hopefully he can get figured out here. But there's just a lot of fake stuff out there regarding this contract negotiation. They're not too close. Key quote, they're not too close. So hopefully it gets figured out, but who knows? And that is not encouraging whatsoever if you're a Sense fan to read. Listen, this is all negotiation through the, te- through the media. Uh, the Sean Simpson reports, that's negotiation through the media. This Elliot Friedman report, negotiation through the media this Matthew Kachuk thing is negotiation through the media but at the end of the day if your brother if Brady Kachuk's brother is saying they're not too close on a deal regardless if this is negotiation through the media or not that is not what you want to hear if you're a Sens fan so what happens next well Pierre Dorian said he expects the Senators and Brady Kachuk to get a deal done before camp but camp is fast approaching so does so does this mean that Otto is going to elect to sign him to a short-term deal We'll see. We have a few days until camp opens up. But I personally, as you know, would overpay immensely to keep him here long term. But it's really looking like it's the days and the hours and the minutes start to clock down. And we get closer to camp. It looks like Ottawa is going to be forced to sign him to a short-term deal and then punt this down the road to get him long-term down the road. But that's not the ideal scenario. I really hope Ottawa can figure it out here long term. But right now, especially with what Matthew Kachuk just said, maybe they're not too close whatsoever. And he, by the way... Brady Kachuk is still in St. Louis right now. He's not even in Ottawa. He's still in St. Louis. So, yeah, we'll see what happens here. But there's your update. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Should we offer him an eight-plus million dollar for eight-year deal? Should we offer him a short-term deal? Do you believe what Matthew Kachuk said, or do you believe what Elliot Freeman said, or do you believe nothing that was said? Let me know in the comment section down below. I look forward to reading and responding to all your comments. Besides that, thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video, share the official cool stuff, and click that red button down there. Make it great and subscribe to us. But supporting of all. So no, turn the notification bell on so you get notified when we upload a new video. Besides that, thank you all for watching. I hope you like the new backdrop. Lots of stuff will be added in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. Go Sims Go!